El Paso County Judge Ricardo Samaniego issued a statement about providing aid to Ridoso. He says El Paso firefighters are not trained to fight the fires, but will help with donations for victim funds. He goes on to say, quote, We all know that El Paso stands by to support our neighbors in a variety of ways, but for the time being, the most resourceful support we can provide the community of Ridoso are monetary donations, end quote. And during tragedies like these, as the county judge just alluded to, there's one thing that we do know. Borderland residents are ready to step up and help their neighbors who have lost everything in these fires. Earlier today, our team caught up with DJ Johnny Cage. His team in the El Paso County Sheriff's Office were collecting diapers, feminine products, non-perishables, and other items. They were then loaded on a 50-foot semi-truck and escorted into the village of Riadoso. This yesterday, uh, yesterday afternoon, my wife and I, you know, um, we, we've been seeing the devastation of what's been going on uh, in uh, Riodoso and Mescalero. So, you know, I uh, was scheduled to have a performance there this Saturday, and uh, obviously uh, everything has been uh, canceled or rescheduled. So it just uh, inspired us to, you know, jump into action, roll up our sleeves, and help out the, uh, the communities of Riodoso and Mescalero. Some say it takes a village, but in reality... Johnny Cage says he and his team will continue to su send supplies up there for as long as they are needed. And if you would like to help those affected by the Riodoso fires, there are several agencies and organizations assisting residents. Donations can be made by scanning the QR code that you see right there on your screen. Water, clothing, non-perishable food items, pet food, and cash donations are being accepted. And we have more coverage on the Riodoso fires on our website. We will continue to have all the latest updates there at KTSM.com.